This is James Bond 007 level gadget here. It looks like a battery pack, the size of my iPhone. But it is more than that. On the one side, well, USB ports, charging port. Let's switch it on, it's 82% charge. So this side, yeah, it's a battery pack. However, on the other side, there is a camera that has some infrared LED so it will record in the dark an SD card slot it will actually record video and audio onto this card and that's more there is a corresponding app with the app you can connect to this thing via Wi-Fi and you can either access it like a drop cam um, nest cam kind of thing where you can stream live video or you can um, control the camera and do various things. I want to show you quickly some of the operations. Um, there are two buttons on the camera. The one near the SD slot is reset. So if you hold it down for more than five seconds, it will do a factory reset, which sometimes you need to, if the settings get messed up, the Wi-Fi get messed up. This side is the camera on off switch. So if I just press it, um, the camera basically boots up and start working. If you want to turn it off, you can just hold the button down for about two seconds when it's on. You see the light and it will um, turn itself off to save batteries. Uh, don't forget to charge it back up when the battery um, is low because otherwise it's a pain in the neck to restart it and reconfigure it if everything runs out totally. And you can see the LEDs showing that it's active. So at this point, I just want to show you the iPhone app. Um, it's foot I have to say it's a very basic app. It's, there is a minor UI annoyances and so forth, but fundamentally it works. What I'm doing is I'm connecting to the camera in AP mode, meaning that this guy has his own Wi-Fi network and I'm just connecting directly to it from my phone. You can set it up for this guy to go through your home Wi-Fi. I really don't want to do that because if I'm using this anywhere but in my house, I would not have my home Wi-Fi. So it's easier just to have my phone connecting to this directly. And to make that work, I have to switch my phone to Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi that is provided by the camera. Um, it's pretty obvious it could be a long list of um, uh, hex characters, which is the Wi-Fi um, address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi first. And notice that it's trying to connect to the camera and it's connected. So now the camera on here is streaming to my phone here so it's a little tricky but let's see Put it upside down um, so there you go it's actually looking on my desk right now and to make it really fun I can have the camera look at the camera and then uh, you end up having this uh, infinity camera setting here. You get it just. And the app has a lot of control if you touch the screen. Control comes on, you can change the um, lighting, switch off the control LED, uh, switch off the indicator light and a whole bunch of other things. And this is a um, slightly better footage that I actually downloaded using the app from the camera's SD card. 